was there. I and we're was back to general I felt assembly. I should leave. When I brought it up online, people Sorry. told me to stop wasting people's yeah, time. Uh, that battery. man went on to drop a brick from the SF commune and hit somebody's head. Had that been me, I would be dead or worse because I don't believe I believe him. You know, I, I'm on blood thinners. There is a non-violent thing called shunning, where if somebody does not adhere to the basic rules of civility, we agree if we're in public, we can't make them go away, but we can refuse to speak to them at all for like six months or whatever. We don't have to make it lifelong. I don't want to be with people who are kind of, sort of into non-violence but don't really take it seriously. I want to be with people who take nonviolence seriously. Thank you. Amen. Next on stand is... Do you have a pen by any chance? Sandra. Does anybody have a pen? Here, here. Oh, thanks, got it. Nobody is speaking fully hard to steer, I'm sorry. That's on the website, because that's what the argument is all about that night, and that's why all of us think it's that important to us to have that thing. And two, we need a way to sign up sheet. Don't pass it around. Like this gentleman says, just ignore or get people that are coming in the way of our movement in a violent manner. Then we say, you've got to go. Uh, just a point of clarification, uh, the agenda item that we're addressing now is not are we re-merging with OSF right now, it is what are the criteria for a future re-merging. Next on staff. That's not what most of us heard. I heard we were going to decide to merge. Should I reread the proposal? Yeah. We will clarify the proposal. And if you want, you can modify it by now. Uh, no, it's fine. Uh, what I had said was, when this group formed, I felt it was formed on two main tent poles. Frustration with deadlock in the process, and the desire for a clear statement that we are a non-violent direct action movement. I feel that if Occupy SF were to adopt these goals in harmony with our formulation of them, to the satisfaction of everybody who was, is, or just was or is dissatisfied, then the, then the existence of this group is moot if that happens, and we should remerge or dissolve meiosis, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so that has not happened yet, so that means it is something for the future. Uh, next on staff is Sarah. 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 There's going to be someone at the end of the who does not want to be reported, yes, so I'm just going to I have a principal problem. I'll turn the sound off. Okay, hearing that we've been working a long time on this new organization that we're going to have a different name and we're going to split off and then, and then blaming a few individuals that disagreed in a consensus problem, you know, in a consensus... Okay, if, we, if we're if we using consensus, then we have to respect people who dissent, even though most of us don't agree. And I really hate to see this movement split over that. And if if we have this, you know, it's like I may 
not agree with a question of, you know, targeted violence. I don't think we're well organized to use that. But, you know, I'll wrap it up when I want. So I just, you know what, I'm speaking for the unity of this movement. And if we're using consensus, then we have to, we have to respect dissenting opinions, even though only one person has them. And we've got to, I don't think this, I do not think this is a way to move beyond that. I really don't. You certainly did respect that person. Next is Jane, and I just want to point out that part of respect is when someone is very emotionally, passionately feeling what they're talking about, we don't cut them off, even if it means a slight process of judgment. Point taken back, sorry. Put that on the rules. Okay, to what you said, it is not, the issue is we're not, we're not blaming anybody. The reason this group was formed is based on ideological grounds. It is not about blaming, it's not about people, I don't care. What I care about is that I want to be a part of a non-violent direct action movement. That's all. Now, if that can't be reached based on the processes of the existing Occupy SF organization, I have no choice but to go to a different one. However, I also believe that there is something about making this Bay Area united. Because as we know, like one of these gentlemen has just spoken, that Oakland has the same problem. I would like to welcome into our movement those people who don't want to FTP the police. And that's the point, is that we also welcome our brothers and sisters from Oakland who also want to be a part of a non-violent direct action movement. And that is why I stand behind Bay Area United because I believe that there are too many ideological differences at this time with Occupy San Francisco. Okay, so next we have B. B? Where are you, B? Uh, I don't mean to take this matter lightly, but I think it's funny that that everybody that was over there is here. We're united anyway, at least physically. <laughs> so what division is there? I would like to keep the name Occupy SF or Occupy San Francisco one because it's easier because I already have the Occupy SF button from Outreach and I don't want to have to change it. And the other reason is because I think that United we Delta, I can't hear the speaker. Okay, please. Let's have a little respect. Mic check. V is speaking. Okay, I'm not streaming. I'm talking. Okay. So, anyway, I think that we are doing a great service to the movement that we divide ourselves. Then we don't need the outside enemy. We don't need infiltrators or you know, the cops or, you know, the federal agencies like NSA or CIA or whatever to divide us. We're doing their job for them when we do this. So I would like us to re-examine our consensus process. And I will, the conditions, I think, there's three conditions that I think can cause re reunification. One is no violent position, no property damage, and uh, the modified consensus approach. Okay, we have five more people on stack. We have six more people on stack, and then we and then we will call the question on whether this proposal for the criteria for uh, re-merging with Occupy SF will be adopted for a future date. Um, I mean, adopted today, but based on the criteria that would apply in the future. Uh, that makes sense. Next up, Stack. Well, I doubt I'm going to make many friends with this statement here, but this is a fraud. This is in bad faith. We are ruled by consensus, not by force. And you all are quitters. After four hours of debate, you all quit. 
After seven, eight months, what is it now? Y'all quit after four hours of debate. I quit after while there of were, Excuse me, I'm speaking. Well, there were concessions made. There were several negotiations going back and forth with both sides blocking it after the writers came to agreement. No one here has put forth an accurate account of what happened last night. No one. No one. You've just railroaded right through it because you wanted to quit because you didn't get your way because you're used to it. <laughs> you're quitters. Now there's another thing that's bothering me. We stopped at the same problem back when we couldn't define violence. We said, yes, we're a nonviolent protest, just like you said today, nothing's new. We balked on what is violence. We have failed to identify if violence is only against people or property. You've completely obfuscated the main issue. Furthermore, okay. <laughs> Thank you for being Part of respect is not making personal attacks. Well, why are you doing it to it, Zega? You've done attacks. nothing but personal and attacks, Zega, when he's black. Like, nothing but ideology. Okay, I've been called a racist, a co opter, a liberal for six freaking months by Zega. So let's talk about personal attacks and respect. Yes. Next yeah. on stack. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope that whatever we're going to end up doing, I get actually passionate about it. We need to be more educated. What we need to be doing is fighting the union leaders, the directors of all these nonprofits, move on their art, which is training people, but here we are fighting against ourselves, fighting each Could other. I think whatever we're going to do, I, 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 I will not get tired of saying <laughs> We need to get educated and we need to see who is sitting next to us and who wants to divide us to destroy the movement. So I hope that whatever we're going to do from now on, let's get more educated and let's see who exactly the real enemy is. It's not that the CIA, the Pentagon, it's the non-profit and it's the labor union leaders that want to destroy us. That, that we need to get educated and then we will know, Sorry, even no. though I know it's because that's what I say, we need to get educated. Um, oh, I don't know. Next on stack. I'm not allowed on stack. I'm allowed to speak again. Okay, everybody. I really believe in direct action. And I was at the Thursday GA and I wasn't, I wasn't getting anything, was, nothing was happening. And I wanted to change it. I wasn't violent, but I did something that pissed off a lot of people. I went and I did what I thought should be done. And I joined Occupy Bay Area United. And I think what's going to happen is that those changes that I wanted to see will happen in Occupy San Francisco. And when they do, I will go back there, and I think most of us will go back there. But for now, because I couldn't get done what I wanted done at Occupy San Francisco. I went with this group, and I'm standing with them. That's what I'm going to say. Don't step on your watch. question, I'm sorry, that, that I'm not understanding, that I'm missing a big chunk. I do not understand. I, I, I was not at Thursday's GA, but I watched five hours of it on live stream. I shut it off at midnight. I was stuck at work. Um, but what I don't understand is how, when one person had a moral and ethical block to an action of the group, a block sufficient for that person to walk away from the movement, why did that not happen? Why is the other group forming? I don't understand. Why, why our process that existed has resulted in the dissolving of an organization. He's asking a legitimate question. Sorry. I, I, 
I don't understand the formation of this alternative group. I don't understand how our process that existed didn't function. Think about this why is topic I started at all. Because people wanted to change the Okay, point of yes. process. There's nothing Next wrong on with staff. Here. Uh, next on staff, we had A, and A requests that all media be turned on. Yes.